Hi everyone, welcome back to another Doctor Who collection video. Um, today we're going to be doing another review on the latest B&M figure sets. So uh, for this video we're going to be taking a look at both the Dalek sets. So it's History of the Daleks set 5, which is the Daleks from Power of the Daleks, and History of the Daleks set 7, which is uh, the uh, Dalek, I suppose it's Dalek Supreme, or Dalek like Commander or whatever from uh, There the Daleks, and uh, a gunmetal grey black drone Dalek. So to start with, we're going to be taking a look at the power set, which is uh, History of the Daleks set 5. So if I just show you the back of the box, um, it's got a really nice like uh, synopsis of the uh, the story, Power of the Daleks, which is one of my favourite Dalek stories. And then it's got a behind-the-scenes thing about the Power of the Daleks as well, which uh, explains a bit about the Dalek props, which is really nice. And then you've got uh, two pictures of the Daleks there. Um, just show you the front. It's got limited edition, history of the Daleks set five, and then the story that the Daleks are from, Power of the Daleks. Uh, if we just take a look at the backdrop. This is really nice. This is the uh, the capsule that the Daleks um, crash land in, and that I found in uh, in the story. Uh, which is the door there, and I think this would be the bit like. The little porthole that Lesterson looks through during the story and sees the Daleks making themselves, uh, which is nice. You even have a, a little image of the, uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little stock image of the Daleks from the story there, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, let's start by taking a look at the Daleks. Um, so the first one is this, uh, this Dalek with this mutant scoop. Um, on mine, the, I need to put this in some boiling water but the the sucker arm with with, with the scoop on is bent slightly um that's fine i'll just put it in some boiling water and uh straighten that out but yeah um it's really nice dalek they've given him like the uh the egg cup uh dome lights which is really nice really nice uh blue on the uh the rings on the eye uh, I've given this Dalek just the normal uh, iris, white lens. Uh, it's like a metallic kind of silver colour, which is really cool. Uh, these these are my favourite kind of Daleks, these 60s Daleks. Um, I love them. Uh, just the more the more <laughs> the more of these they release, the better. I, I, I love these ones so much. Uh, really nice blue on the hemispheres as well, and they've uh, added some scuffs on the bumper bit which is really nice. Um, and then for the scoop, it's just, it's really nice as well. Um, shame it doesn't, didn't come with like a mutant, like a green blob that could just sit in it, but um, never mind. But yeah, that's that Dalek. And then the other one is just uh, a generic drone Dalek, but uh, it actually has the smaller iris for this one. Um, uh, probably like different uh, like the Mark II guns for the 60s Daleks. Um, got the sucker. It's just exactly the same as the other one. They've still got the scuffs on the on the bumper of this one as well. Um, yeah, as for the articulation, the eye stalk can go up and down. A little bit stiff on this one. Uh, the Dome can do a 360 degrees. Uh, ball joints for the gun stick and the sucker arm. And uh, it's on three wheels, so uh, it can move about nice and easily. So yeah, that's the Power of the Daleks uh, set. Really happy with this one. Um, I can see these ones selling out very fast. People were army building these ones. Um, so yeah, if you can, if you see them about, try and grab them. Um, so yeah, that's the Power of the Daleks set. So we'll move on to the Day of the Daleks one. Right. So for the Day of the Daleks one, as you can see, it comes with the gold like Supreme Dalek and the uh, gunmetal grey Dalek. Um, so if I show you the box again, uh, it's, again it's got the synopsis of uh, Day of the Daleks, and then behind the scenes about the story and the, the Dalek props, I guess. Um, and then showing you the two Dalek figures that you get in the set. 
Then on the front, you've got the limited edition sticker again, and then History of the Daleks at seven, and Day of the Daleks. Um, from what I've heard, I, I, the reason why they didn't release History of the Daleks set six, which is should be from Evil, is that the um, character didn't want two similar Dalek sets on the shelf at the same time, because the Evil and Power Daleks pretty much look exactly the same. Um, I suppose they could throw an Emperor's uh, Guard into the set or whatever, but... Um, I'm really hoping that they someday they release the Emperor Dalek because that's the one thing that I would really, I'd really love to have on the shelf is the Emperor to go with uh, two of my um, Emperor Guards already. So yeah, uh, fingers crossed that they make that eventually. But um, as for this set with look at the diorama, it comes in, um, which is really nice. It's the uh, the tunnel which pretty much a lot of the story is based upon. Uh, it's where the uh, like guerrilla fighters come from, and the ogrons like appear from. Um, so we've got the, the like the time vortex thing uh, with a Dalek coming through. Um, in the top there, there's two ogrons going into the tunnel. Um, under the bridge here, I'm not sure what this robot thing is. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure what that is. I know it's not from Doctor Who, because um, I think Al Jawar, the guy who like uh, deals with the figures, uh, likes to throw in little Easter eggs of like, Blake 7 and other things in here. So maybe it's from Blake 7, I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you know what it's from. And then we've got this, I think this is an ogre from um, the Stones of Blood, but because it's got like, this glowing effect on it. Um, I could be mistaken, but I think it is from Stones of Blood. But yeah, it's, it's a nice little diorama set. Um, so we'll just take a look at the Daleks. We'll start off with the like Supreme Gold Dalek. Uh, really nice to have an accurate one of these. Um, if I just show you the original release. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the original one that came in the Dalek Collector's Set 2. Um, which is supposed to be from Day of the Daleks. Uh, as you can see, the newer one has the correct gold on the uh, on the mesh around its neck, whereas the original one didn't. It had a black mesh, um, which isn't right. Um, and it also has a gold ball joint, which this one doesn't. Um, but yeah, I just use this one now as the like Frontier and Space one. Um, but yeah, there's a really nice gold that they've painted this Dalek in. Uh, it's like a really nice shiny metallic gold, um, which really makes it pop. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not too much to say about this Dalek. Uh, they've painted the sucker arm silver with the ball joint. Um, it's got the double fender, with, which is, I think this part's supposed to be like a bin liner. Um, which the top part of the fender sticks out a bit. Uh, it's just to cover the wheels, I think, when they're on location and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice Dalek. I'm really happy with this one. And then finally, we have the Gunmetal Grey Dalek, which I'm so happy that they finally released these. These are really, really nice Daleks. Um, I mean, we've had Genesis Daleks, we've had Planet of the Daleks Daleks, but we've never had a a gunmetal grey day of Daleks Dalek. Um, and these just look incredible. Uh, they're so shiny. The, the metallic paint that they've done these in is really nice. Um, yeah, I'm so happy with these. The eye stalk, it's got the little black iris with the white circle. Really, really nice. Um, I've actually got, I actually bought two of these sets just because I wanted to have pretty much how they are in the story to uh three daleks um i know john pertry and uh, katie manning didn't like the fact that the way the daleks were shot in there the daleks like how they were supposed to surround the house with three daleks um but yeah these daleks just are really really nice i'm so happy with these ones this one's actually got a bit of a bent eye stalk um to put that in some boiling water and straight that out but yeah um so happy with these um so yeah, that's the, my review on the uh, on the Daleks history of the Daleks sets from B and M. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, 
I mean, this is the first for me doing these kind of reviews. Um, I will be doing uh, reviews on other figures. Um, I have the 13 Doctor set coming soon. I've finally managed to pick it up for a, a, a reasonable price that I was happy to pay for. Um, so I will be doing a review on that. Um, and yeah, just drop a comment below if you want to see a review of any other of the sets. Um, I will be doing a collection figure update of showing you all the new figures I've picked up because I've actually picked up quite a few since my uh, collection video. Um, so yeah, I might do a collection figure collection update on the, the new figures and then maybe do a whole new collection update once my 13 Doctors set arrives. And then I can show you how it looks with all the new B&M sets and all the new figure sets that I've picked up. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.